What's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I am so excited and I feel like I always say that I'm really excited in my videos because I'm always excited to film for you guys but like today it's another level of excitement because early this morning I was awoken by my FedEx guy and I was not even mad because he was bringing me the new Tarte Shape Tape foundation. I literally die, you guys. You guys know how much I love the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It is by far my favorite concealer I've ever tried. I use it every single day. I've talked about it in countless videos, so I feel like everybody knows that I love it. So as soon as Tarte started teasing the fact that they were coming out with a Shape Tape foundation, I was dying. And I have literally never gotten so many messages, tweets, snaps, literally everything from you guys asking me to review this product and check it out for you guys. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna be testing out both of the foundations because there's actually two. There's a matte one and a hydrating one. So I'm going to do a little half and half action, you know, half on one side, half on the other side. And I'm going to do a wear test where I wear the foundation throughout the day. Before we get into actually trying the foundation, I do want to touch on something that is really, really important. And that is the shade range in this foundation. So as I told you guys, I was so, so, so excited for this to come out. And then I honestly felt really let down as soon as I saw the shade range. I'm gonna get up a picture right here so I can show you guys. This is what the shade range looks like in this foundation. There are 15 different shades. And as you can see, about 13 of them are light to medium shades. And then there's really only two to maybe we could say three deeper shades here. And it's 2018, that is just completely unacceptable. I know that we can do better. Shade ranges need to be so much much more inclusive. And this is not just an issue with Tarte, it's an issue with so many different brands. And Tarte did come out and they did say that they are gonna be coming out with 10 additional shades, which I hope the large majority of those 10 additional shades are all gonna be on the deeper end because that's really where we're lacking. And I can't even imagine what it would be like to really wanna try a product so bad, but you can't find a shade that works for you. That's just literally crazy. And I wanted to speak up about it because I feel like I've been given this platform and I wanna talk about important issues and hopefully help to push brands to a movement where we can be so much more inclusive so everyone can try products because as a creator, I know that not everybody that watches my videos looks like me and I don't ever want to recommend a product that somebody that's watching my videos cannot find that can work for them. And I normally don't talk about super serious stuff like this on my channel because I like to keep it fun. I like to keep it positive and like kind of a way for you guys to escape daily life when you're watching my videos. But I just feel like I've been given this platform and I want to use it to hopefully make good change. With that being said, I'm still going to give the foundation a fair shot. I'm going to give it a wear test. I'm going to try it. I'm going to let you guys know how it works on my skin because that's what so many of you guys have been requesting. And I'm here to make the videos that you guys wanna see, but I did just really wanna touch on the shade range. I really hope that we see the 10 extra shades coming out soon so that every single person can try this foundation if they want to. All right, so now that we got all the serious talking out of the way, but I mean, I just felt like it needed to be addressed. We're gonna test out this baby. So we have the foundations here. We also have some concealers and then we have two products. We have this brush, which I don't know if I'm gonna like that, but I'm gonna try it. And we have a beauty sponge. And if you're wondering about prices, the foundation is gonna retail for $39. The brush is gonna retail for 28, which is pretty expensive for just one brush. And then the sponge I believe is gonna be 18. On the little PR pamphlet they sent me, it says 28, but I feel like that has to be wrong. That's like more expensive than a beauty blender. I think it's actually 18. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I zoomed you guys in so you could see a little bit better. So basically they sent me three shades in both of the foundations. So I'm gonna swatch them on my face so you guys can see. It is a little difficult though because my face obviously is lighter than my neck. Y'all already know, but if you're new to my channel, I self-tan my body, I don't self-tan my face. So I wanna match my face to my neck. But I'll go ahead and swatch them on my face so we can see. So the first one we have is Light Medium Honey. And I really do like the packaging on these. I think it's really nice. This is what it looks like. It's basically just a big version of the Shape Tape Concealer. And I do like these little like stick applicators. It makes it really nice. So that is Light Medium Honey. That's probably a little too light in comparison to my neck. A little too light, I think. Then I'll go in with Medium Honey, which I think this is the shade that I normally wear in their foundations. Swatch that. Yeah, that's probably gonna be the better one for me, but I'll swatch the darker one as well. This is medium tan, honey. We'll do that right here. Yeah, that one is a little too deep. So I'm gonna go in with medium honey. So I'm gonna start with the matte one. I do have dry skin, so I typically like hydrating foundations better than matte foundations, but there are matte foundations that I love too. So we're gonna give them both a try. I'm gonna do the matte on this side. And again, I'm going in with medium honey. So I'm just gonna do like, stripes like this, I guess. This reminds me of, there's a Clinique foundation that has the same applicator. I forgot what it's called though. So I'm gonna go in with the beauty sponge on this side and then I guess I'll use the brush with the hydrating one. Um, and yeah, I don't know, this is like, it's different because it has like flat faces. So I'm gonna try on the flat side and see. Ooh. 
This is actually really soft. Like I didn't think it was gonna be this soft and it is dampened. I did dampen this beauty sponge. And because it is bigger, I feel like it covers more area on your face. So I just blended that out like so, so quickly. Up here might be a little difficult though because of my brows, but we'll work around them. All right, I'm just gonna use a mirror to look at it up close. And this is definitely matte, um, but it's not like drying on the skin. And I don't think it makes my skin look super drying. So I don't mind that at all. It's full coverage, but I honestly thought it would be a little bit more fuller. Like it's not like crazy full. Like this is not Kat Von D lock it full, but this is still very full coverage and it does look really nice and flawless on my skin. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more so we can see kind of how it layers. And if we can build it up that I wonder with the brush if it's more full coverage um, so we'll see that with the hydrating one but I actually really like the sponge <laughs> okay yeah so that definitely built up really really nicely and it looks really nice on my skin and now I would definitely say it's full full coverage and it definitely is matte but like I said it's not drying on the skin so that doesn't bother me at all so so far I do like the matte one, but I'm eager to see how I like the hydrating one because typically, like I said, that's what I go for. So I'm gonna do that on this side. And they have the same shade names in the hydrating, so I'm gonna go in with medium honey again, and I'm gonna pop this on my face. Oh, this side is a lot more, it's thicker, like the consistency is different, um, which is interesting. But I think a lot of times like hydrating foundations tend to be a bit thicker because they're like hydrating, you know? Um, so I don't mind it. And I'm gonna go in with the brush on this side and blend that out. Ooh. This brush feels nice. I feel like the shades are slightly different. Like they have the same name, but the color is slightly different. Obviously the formula is different, so it could throw off the color a little bit. Um, just something to keep in mind. So I'm looking at it up close in the mirror and I don't know, but this is definitely way less full coverage than the matte one. Um, I don't know if it's the brush. I would have thought the brush would have made it more like full coverage. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more with the beauty sponge and see if that like makes it more full coverage. Cause this one's definitely not full coverage. And I do like this brush, but honestly, I feel like for $28, you don't really need it. Like it's a nice brush if you want it, but I don't know that it warrants $28. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the hydrating one. And I'm gonna go in with the beauty sponge and see if that makes the difference or if this one is just less full coverage. All right, gonna blend this bad guy out. It definitely feels cooling on the skin, which I do like. Like it feels hydrating upon applying it to your skin. So I do like that obviously because my skin is as dry as the Sahara. All right, so adding that second layer and using the beauty sponge to blend it out definitely made it more full coverage than it was with the first layer and the brush. But I still think the matte side is a lot more full coverage than the hydrating side, which is interesting to me. Because like I said, typically I would like hydrating foundations better, but as far as coverage goes, I'm definitely digging the matte side more. I like the way the hydrating side feels on my skin. I think it feels really nice, although the matte side is very comfortable, but overall the way it looks, I like the matte side better. You can absolutely tell a difference though between like the matte side where there's just no shine at all versus the hydrating side where there is more shine, which I obviously don't mind the shine. I just wish the hydrating one was the same color over just the matte side, but. So I'm honestly kind of surprised, but I feel like I'm vibing with the matte one a little bit more. Um, I'm gonna leave this half and half on my face for the rest of the day and go about my business. And I will check in with you guys throughout the day and let you know how it's going. But so far, I like both of them, but I feel like the matte one is the winner for me. So I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my makeup. I'll check in with you guys after that so we can look and see how other makeup layered on top of it. And then I'll check in with you guys once again later on tonight to let you know how it lasted. All right, so I went ahead and finished up the rest of my makeup. It is now 1 05. When I was originally putting this on, it was about 12.30. So I'll check in with you guys later tonight, like around 4.30 or 5 p.m. to let you know my final thoughts on the foundations. One thing that I did think was interesting though, like when I was doing the rest of my makeup, is that this side took way longer to set the hydrating side. Like I went ahead and did like my blush and my contour and my highlight and stuff all on the matte side because it was like completely set and I had to wait a little bit to do this side because it was still like literally tacky. Now it's fine. It's probably been on my face for like 25, 30 minutes-ish now. So it's set now, but it definitely took longer to set in, which can be a good thing because it can allow you to really work with the foundation for a while. But at the same time, if you need to do it like super quickly, it can get a little annoying because you kind of have to wait for it to set a little bit. So that is just definitely something that I did realize. I definitely have a lot of thoughts, but I want to wait to wear the foundation for longer to like give you guys like my final thoughts. So like I said, I will see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna wear it throughout the day. Think about it, really look up close at both of the sides and see, but 
Definitely, I'm surprised at this foundation, and I'll leave it at that. All right, you guys, so it is 6.08 p.m., and I am working on getting this video up for you guys ASAP, so I did want to come back and do my final check-in after I got a chance to wear the foundation for a couple hours on my skin. And overall, I do have to say that I do like both of the foundations. I think they're both nice, but I definitely like the matte side better, which is really surprising, but the matte one is where it's at. I'm telling you, if you like full, full coverage foundations, which is what I pretty much expected from this foundation, you got to get the matte one because the hydrating one is very, nice but it's not super full coverage so to me I feel like I would wear the hydrating one more so like on a daily basis if I was going out you know running errands or whatever not doing like a full glam full coverage makeup look where I'm gonna be pulling for the matte one if I'm doing like full glam filming for my channel something like that I just feel like the foundations are very different which I kind of thought they were gonna be pretty similar just one was gonna be like dewy and one was gonna be like matte but I definitely see them really being like two separate foundations like one is just a medium I would say coverage like I, I don't want to say light because it's not light coverage, but it's definitely like medium coverage, the hydrating one. And then the matte one is much more on the full coverage side. So I don't know, I, that just kind of surprised me. Like I thought they would be similar. I do think both the foundations lasted really well on my skin though. Like I don't think one side like looks more faded or anything than the other side. Like I feel like they both look really nice on my skin still and I've had this on my face now for like almost six hours. So I would definitely say even if you're a dry skin girl like me, don't be scared to go out and get the matte one because it really isn't super drying on the skin. Trust me, if it was, I would let you guys know. Um, but it really is very comfortable on the skin which typically I tend to not like matte foundations just because they're so drying. But this one does feel very comfortable. Both settled into my smile lines a little bit which like basically every foundation does that so like I don't even care. I guess I have prominent smile lines. Um, but the hydrating one actually settled into my smile lines a little bit less than the matte one did. Like I can tell a difference when I look up close with a mirror that this one settled into lines a little bit less. So if you have a little bit more of mature skin, you may like the hydrating one a bit better. So that's just another thing to keep in mind. So yeah, those are basically my thoughts on this foundation. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Are you guys gonna pick it up? Do you plan on trying it out? I would love to hear. So just let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I love you so very much and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.